beat of New York. 103.5 KTU. Lulu and Lala for iHeartRadio. And it is going down. We are yelling Kesha. Kesha. Oh. <laughs> Super Perfect. excited that you're in studio. We've been wanting to interview you. And so today's the day. Let's it's do it. I'm so excited. Your single's out. I know. I'm dying. Yes. Raising <laughs> hell. Raising hell, which is one of my favorite pastimes. Yes. Now let's talk about it. We heard it. It's amazing. Thank you. I know people are gonna love it because yeah, I jumped so. out of my chair and you I did? Said, yes, you could ask um, Jesse. Jesse, sorry for your name. I wanted to like twerk to it. We used to. I almost did. Actually, twerk I did. Every, I am so happy to hear that. That is a beautiful news. Lots of energy. Let's talk about it. Yes, yeah, talk about it. I mean, it's about how I'm a good soul, but I like to do bad things sometimes. Yeah, and you can be both. And um, I was just saying to somebody else that one of my favorite lines in the song is, good girls know how to get hard too. Yeah. And it kind of encapsulates the whole the whole idea of the song. It's like, I want to live while I'm here. I want to raise right. some hell. Yeah. And You know, I actually wrote down the, the lyric that stood out to me. I don't want to go to heaven without raising hell. Yeah, I don't want to go to heaven without raising hell. Because I do think... You, you gotta have, have a fun. Bad in yeah, you fun. gotta. Because sometimes the bad is fun. Yeah. And sometimes the bad teaches you. Yeah. And it definitely teaches you. Yeah. And it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we also saw the video. You did? We did see the Ooh, video. They gave us the info. And I was like, it's just amazing. Tell us about the concept. Uh, it's crazy. Was it, all your idea? it was not all my idea. The director, Luke Guilford, he brought like a general idea to me. And I grew up in the South going to mega churches, and I've always been obsessed with just religious iconography. So when he brought me kind of this idea of me being a televangelist, yes. I was like, yep, done. Done. <laughs> Doing it. And then I was, then we kind of tweaked it, and then there might be a little bit of murder. And, you know, it's like in the 80s. Yeah. And it was just such a fun video to shoot. And getting chased by the cops just feels really natural to me. <laughs> so it's like really fun. The whole thrill, Let me right? tell you, your fans are in for a good treat. You guys need to check out the video because it is lit. But there's a, there's a part in the video that there's like a number. Mm -hmm. Can you call that number? You should call that number. What are we going to get if we call it's that It's a number? secret, but you have to call the number because my number one plan, I've been such a pain in the ass about this. I was like, that number's got to work. And when people call it, it's going to send you to a very special secret place. Where there will be secret things. Oh. But I'm not gonna tell you because you gotta call the number. We gotta call the number, Lana. Hopefully, we gotta call the number, number right after this. Call you up, have a chit chat. But we'll have to wait. Now, we'll let's talk about it. these balls you said you got back. I don't. I think your balls were always there. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I've always had like a yeah. very like hefty set of balls. But I would have to say, the last record, I had to, you know, address certain things that were going on in my life and I was being present in the moment and it was like a huge therapeutic thing. Mm -hmm. And over the past couple of years, I've kind of made it my goal in life to just be present and be grateful and be happy. And by writing pop songs that are happy and grateful and fun, it also helped me become happier and happier. And I feel like when I was younger, you know, like 20, I was happy but kind of in a naive a little bit like I didn't know really what was going on with right, me. Yeah. And I was happy, but a little more ignorantly happy. And now I've been through it and I have found my happiness and I have dug through some shit to get to my happiness. So I feel like I earned it. Yes, and we're so freaking happy for you yeah. because we've all been at one point in our lives in a yeah. difficult situation, yep. but we finally make it through the hurdle yeah. and we're just in a peaceful, there, happy place. There is light at the end of the yes, tunnel. Yes, that's hopefully what people will take away from that is that no matter what you're going through or have gone through, you can eventually with the positive vibes and just trying to be nice to yourself, you can get to a place where you're ready to feel happier than you've ever been before. And something about happiness, you had the cruise line. Oh, it's so called, the, you just announced the second yeah, weird, wonderful again. rainbow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. That's where I met Frida, who's on Raising Hell. Yes. Is we met on the the cruise ship and I was so scared at first to go on this cruise because I'd never been on one. Oh wow. And then it was like the greatest time of my entire life. It looked amazing. It was so much fun. Everyone was just free and happy and being sweet to each other but also just going completely balls out. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to be. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's gonna happen October 16th 
2020. You need to be on this cruise. It's so much fun. Oof. Check out the video. And it yeah. departs so from fun. Miami, I believe. It departs from Miami. We go to the Bahamas. On the way there, it's like a festival of music. Then you get out and jump in the ocean. You come back, and then it's like a festival of music back. And it's just like the most free you could imagine yourself ever being. The, to the left, there are people sunbathing naked. To the right, <laughs> there are just people making new friends. And I don't know. It, it just looked like an amazing experience. Yeah, it was just like such a love-filled little cruise ship. I don't know. So your boat. first experience on a cruise ship was a positive one. It was so positive. It That's was, great. I was terrified, but it was really good. <laughs> Halloween is right around the corner. I know. People keep asking me what I'm going to be, and I don't know what I should be. Any mm. suggestions? Hmm. Mm. I don't know. That's a tough one because we don't even know what we're going to be. We have no idea. No yeah. idea. But I know they're giving us the rap. I want to know oh. what is your favorite song to perform? Honestly, Take It Off is really fun to perform to the right crowd because <laughs> they will take it off. <laughs> and I mean, like, they'll take it all off. Oh. But I, I always say, whatever you're comfortable with. And so I've gotten like completely nude crowd surfers. And I'm like, Good. that person is after my heart hell yeah yeah that's the way to party and right before we close this out beauty line yeah oh my gosh everybody knows about it see i've been keeping it all top secret we it was were also digging top digging, secret. digging for information <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about it well hopefully it will uh fulfill what you would imagine i would put out let's just put it this way it's very colorful sparkly and unique well, we can't wait for we it. We can't wait. <laughs> Thank you, Kesha, for stopping Thank in the studio. So we wish you all guys, the best. You should check, check out her new single, Raising, Raising Hell. Hell. And check out the video. You guys will definitely enjoy it. Thank you, Thank guys. Thank you. New York. 103.5. KTU.